In today's video, I am going to teach you how you can utilize your ledger device to mint and redeem half assets. The first thing that we are going to do is head up to the Ledger Live application. This is something that you can do on your mobile device or on your laptop. I'm utilizing my laptop and I'm utilizing the model Nano X with the OS version 2.5. You can easily install all of this and you can easily update your version to this one on this application. One thing that I want to mention is that you must make sure that you have installed the Flare app and the same for XRP. Make sure you have all of these applications installed before proceeding. The next thing that we are going to do is to explore the F assets service portal. There are two different portals managed by two different entities, but they both look the same and you can choose whatever you like. I'm using the AU portal and I have already connected my ledger device. In order to do so, the only thing that you need to do is to make sure your ledger device is connected to your laptop and that you sign uh, on your ledger device once the wallet connect is prompted. Now, I want to click here on Mint F Assets and here we are going to see our balance. I can see the amount of Songbird that I have and the amount of XRP that I have. Remember that this tutorial is for Songbird, but it applies in the same exact way for Flare once it is live. We are going to uh, click on Mint and it's going to prompt a window for the number of lots. I am going to mint one lot of FXRP and I am going to select the AU agent. You can click here and change the agent and choose whatever agent you want. Um, it's completely up to you. Now, uh, I am going to click here on next, but notice that there is a fee and a reservation fee that is estimated on Songbird. These things are important for you to manage uh, your proper spending of the fees. Next, the first step is to confirm in my wallet app, I have to do a reservation uh, of the collateral on Flare, and then I have to do the XRP deposit. So if you click here, I'm ready to confirm transactions. Your next step is going to be uh, utilizing your Ledger Nano device. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to show you how you go about this process. I'm going to connect to the Flare application here. Flare Network is ready. Then when I click on ready to confirm the transaction, as you can see, there is a blind sign in message. What you will do here is check out all the information about the transaction and once you're ready, after checking what is the asset, the value and all the other important parameters of the transaction, what you will need to do is to click here on accept risk and approve and now you are done. Notice how after confirming the reservation of Flare, I'm asked to go to the XRP app in the ledger device, connect there before clicking here. I am ready to confirm transaction. You will click on quit the application and you will move to the XRP application on your ledger. Once you click on the portal to sign the transaction, you will see that after connecting to the XRP, you don't have any issue and you can just check out the amount of XRP that you will be utilizing on this transaction, the fee, the destination and a few other relevant parameters and you can then just click on sign with the two buttons on your ledger. And that's it. I am now ready to sign the transaction. So you sign the transaction on your ledger device and after that, you will see on the screen the new message that is prompting to mint the FXRP asset. 
So there are two steps involved. One is that the system requests the proof of payment of 10 XRP. And then the final step is the minting process. Once that the verification has been done by the FTC and then the transfer of assets takes place. You will just have to wait for a few minutes. Once the process is completed, you can see here the message is finished. You can now access your F assets in your wallet. Click OK. And in the F assets portal, now you will see the amount of FXRP that you have. If now you want to redeem those F assets, you can just click here, redeem, click the number of lots and pay attention to the fees that you will need to pay in order to execute this process. Once you agree, click on next. Now you will need to confirm this on your ledger device. So I'm going to move forward and click here. Again, I will be prompted with the message for blind signing. I will verify all of the parameters of the transaction and then click on accept risk and approve on my ledger device. You can now see on your F assets portal uh, your XRP allocation minus the small fee that was taken during this whole process. 